Yeah, I got two big boxes that came in today. Got two big boxes. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I got these two boxes behind me. Let's go ahead and open them up and see what's inside them. Yeah. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today, I got two boxes that came in the mail uh, the other day, and of course, you all could probably guess what they are. Um, yes, if you guess saddlebags, you're absolutely 100% correct. Um, I went on and got me two saddlebags for my bike, so now the bike will be complete once I installed them. Of course, you all, if you watched my last video, you're familiar with the pothole that I hit on the interstate and damaged my bags. I have no idea how they popped off, but they end up popping off. So now I'll be installing these new bags. Yes, I end up doing a claim with DOT, uh, the state of Alabama. Uh, I end up doing the claim. I sent all my paperwork in, all my pictures. And so now we have it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole spiel, but I have two new saddlebags. This incident happened back in May, and now it's July the 7th. Today I'll be installing the bags on the bike and uh, the bike will be complete and I'll probably give it a wash too because it's pretty dirty. Uh, I haven't even, I haven't washed the bike since I went to uh, Traveling Tall's Run to the Hill and so I'll probably give the bike a good wash. I'm going to open the boxes up and I'm going to install the bags on the bike and I'll kind of let y'all watch me. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate everybody who's tuning into the channel and my Instagram and I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. And so let's get to it. Pull out my knife. Woo, it's hot out here. So it's a box within a box. Did the complete assembly, just the assembly on the bag, so. So here's my new saddlebags. This is complete bag, so I'm gonna open up the second package and see if I have to buy a lot. Appears that I may have to still buy a lot.
This is box number two. Bag number two. They don't have the reflectors on them or anything. Alright. Well. So it looks like I still gotta get a lock. For, uh, both of the bags, which is all good. Pull the bike out and put the saddlebags on. See how I look. Oh, and here's a look at the uh, damaged bags. They are messed up. I tell you. All right, so I got the bike out. See, we got no saddlebags. No saddlebags on the bike for now. That's about to change. Oh yeah, and look at that. We can't forget that. We can't forget that. We can't forget that. These are the uh, two screws that I need for both sides of the bag. I do have two for one side, and I need just need uh, two more for the other side. So I'll end up ordering them. I guess they didn't come with the uh, bag assembly, um, so I'll order. I'll order those two bolts. Uh, may go by the local store and see if they have them in stock or I may can go to Lowe's and try to match them up uh, but we'll see
All right, so I got both bags on the bike. The bike is looking back complete now. Looks back complete now. Again, I got to, uh, I'll find a lock. I may go to the store. There's a store maybe like five, 10 minutes away from me where I can get a lock. Probably get a lock put on that way. And uh, I'll, I got my screws for this. I got the little cushions. The little cushions, let me show you. I got the little cushions that you put in here, tighten it down with your bolt. So I got two bolts, so I'll get my two bolts and uh, okay. So I got the little cushion here that you put down in there for your bolts. I'll put that um, in there and I'll probably have to buy two more bolts so they can lock in. Um, but yeah. Back in the game, y'all. Oh yeah, let's let's get that again. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, just wanted to put the bags on the bike as they came in, just kind of keep y'all in the loop. I've actually still been riding the bike without the bags. Uh, of course, I've just been carrying around a backpack if I have to put cargo or something in it for make a run to the store or somewhere. Um, but yeah, bike still been running good, uh, no issues just gotta get a lock on the bag and i get two more bolts and i'll be good to go but yeah so uh now it's not a new indian now it's not a new harley uh, the bike's been good to me y'all so it's, it's it's hard for me to kind of give up something that's been good uh i've had this bike going on four years now i think when i got it it had like ten thousand miles on it and um i got like 37,000 miles on it now. Uh, I haven't had any issues. It hasn't hasn't been in the shop or anything. I've kept the maintenance up on it, so it's just kind of hard to give up some good, you know. That's you know that's actually paid for, you know. Uh, insurance is not high on it at all. I really can't beat that. And like I said, the bike is doing its job. It gets me from A to B, and I did a saddle sole 1000 on it. And speaking of that, I'll probably Hmm. I want to do a bond burn 1500. Uh, I don't know when, uh, but I do want to do that just to kind of test my endurance. And I want to do it within 24 hours uh, versus the 30 hours, I think. I think it's 30 hours. I want to actually do it within the 24 hours, but that'll be later down the line. Uh, I don't know when. You know, I just enjoy riding. Also, I just want to encourage y'all to get out and ride your bikes. Uh, weather's nice out here. Uh, just continue to stay hydrated because it's real, real, real hot, real hot. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. Continue to stay safe and continue to be vigilant. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one later.